You probably already shelled out good money for a nice big TV, and maybe a streaming gadget to play your Netflix. But it doesn't matter how large your screen is or how much it cost, the speakers in your TV probably sound awful. You'd be surprised how much more you enjoy those shows with a halfway decent soundbar or surround system hooked up to your Primo panel. Explosions pop, dialogue sounds far crisper, and you may even notice sonic details in your favorite films that you've never picked up before. Our recommendation number one. Visio M Series 2.1. This is a great entry-level soundbar if you don't have much to spend. It has a sleek design and surprisingly good base for a soundbar that doesn't come with a subwoofer. We've recommended Visio bars for years for their ease of use, and this one definitely ticks that box, with an HDMI ARC connection that allows your TV remote to control the volume and a Bluetooth connection for quickly playing your favorite tunes. The only downside? While it does have plenty of bass, a dedicated subwoofer would certainly help when watching Michael Bay films. Six precisely designed speakers two-way speaker design with separate tweeters and woofers create richer, clearer sound. Optimized for 4K HDR content with Dolby Audio bring out the best audio performance from your 4K HDR content with Dolby Audio when connected through HDMI, the 98 dB sound pressure level and 50 Hz. About to discover a thrilling, high-quality sound that will take your home entertainment to new heights. Introducing the M-Series All-in-One 2.1 Immersive Soundbar from Vizio. This video will walk you through the unboxing process, so whether you're ready to set up or just eager for a sneak peek, we'll give you the details you need to get up and running fast. Before we begin, you'll need a pair of scissors or a box cutter. Ready? Okay, let's begin. First, lay the box on its side and locate the pull tabs on each side. Now, using your scissors or box cutter, cut the tape along the pull tabs. Slide open each of the tabs. Lift open the packaging. Remove the top foam protector. Now carefully lift the sound bar out of the box. Take the end foam protectors off. Gently set the sound bar aside on a flat surface. Next, remove the brown accessory box from the packaging. Then, remove the sound bar from its protective cover. Locate the pull tab on the accessory box. Using your box cutter or scissors, cut the tape along the accessory box's pull tab. Pull the tab to open the accessory box. Inside the accessory box, you'll find the following. A remote control, two AAA batteries, a power cable, an HDMI cable, wall mount template, the user manual, and the quick start guide. Now that you've unboxed your Vizio M-Series all-in-one soundbar, check out the setup video to learn how to connect to your TV. Our recommendation number two, Vizio M-Series 5.1.0. Your new Vizio M-Series Elevate 5.1.2 immersive soundbar with Dolby Atmos and DTSX, and you're ready for thrilling high-quality sound. We're here to help. Let's take a few minutes to get you set up. Before we begin, we recommend taking a moment to review the included quick start guide. Please pause this video to look it over now. Ready to continue? Great. Now let's connect your soundbar to your TV. First, position the soundbar underneath your TV. For the best possible sound quality, make sure the soundbar is close to ear level. Next, remove the two included power cables from the accessory box, one labeled for the soundbar and the other for the subwoofer. You'll connect the power cable to the soundbar ACN as shown. Plug the power cable into an electrical outlet. Now, we're going to choose the best possible connection cable type and connect it to your TV. It is recommended to use HDMI ER. However, if your TV does not support that connection, you can use the HDMI ARC port instead. If the HDMI ER or HDMI ARC connection is not available, please see the soundbar and your TV's user manuals for details regarding additional options. Connect the surround speakers to the subwoofer using the included surround speaker audio cables. You'll see cable ties are included to wrap the unused cable link. Now, match the color-coded speaker cable to the matching speaker port color. The blue is for left surround speaker and gray is for right surround speaker. Next, you'll connect the subwoofer power cable to the subwoofer and plug the power cable into a power outlet. The subwoofer should automatically power on and link to the soundbar when plugged in. You'll see the LED glow solid to confirm. 
Now, remove the two AAA batteries and Vizio remote from the accessory box. Then remove the battery cover by gently sliding it away from the remote. Insert the included batteries and gently slide the battery cover back in place. After turning on both your TV and sound bar, it will automatically begin searching for an active input. You'll see the LED indicator on the front of the sound bar cycle in different colors. Each color represents a different input option. It will continue to cycle until an audio source is detected. You can press the input button to switch between audio sources. For example, if you connect your TV to HDMI eARC, set the sound bar to HDMI eARC. Once it completes, you're ready to test it out. If you're not hearing anything, make sure the multicolored LED on your sound bar is set to whichever connection you chose during setup. Refer to the back of your remote for the input color guide. Once your soundbar is set up, you can easily adjust your soundbar settings on your Vizio TV to set it to your preferences. You can also mount your soundbar by using the included wall mounts. Refer to the user manual for instructions on how to mount your soundbar to your wall. All right, you're now ready to enjoy your new Vizio M-Series Elevate 5.1.2 Immersive Soundbar with Dolby Atmos and DTSX. Should you have any additional questions or need help, visit support. Our recommendation number three. Samsung HWQ950A. Samsung's flagship Dolby Atmos soundbar, 8 tenths, wired recommends has a massive 11.1.4 driver array spread across two satellite speakers, a subwoofer, and the bar itself. This makes it more nimble and focused in its processing of each channel adding significantly to the immersion when compared to more affordable and even similarly priced sound bars. If you don't have room for a traditional home theater surround system, or you just hate the clutter of cables, this is about as close as I've heard to a true wired system, without a receiver, speakers, or hundreds of feet of copper running through the walls. If you own a late model Samsung TV, you can pair the bar with the screen speakers, adding even more focus to the voices on screen. Package dimensions, 129.54 HX 27.94 LX 60.96 W, centimeters. Package weight, 27.216 kilograms. Flood the room with sound from all angles for the ultimate audio entertainment experience, which features 11 channels, one subwoofer, and four up-firing channels. Audio that tracks with each scene with perfectly synchronized audio from your compatible Samsung TV and soundbar for a harmonious, cinematic experience. Soundbar must be connected to TV via HDMI to enable Q-Symphony function. Get theater-like sound with wireless, up-firing rear speakers included with your soundbar that project audio above and around you. Customize sound for the space you're in with automatically calibrated tones and enriched bass. Our recommendation number 4. Poke Audio Senior S4. Many companies offer basic 2.1 sound bars, but very few pack the soundstage of this Dolby Atmos enabled bar from Poke. It's simple and easy to set up, with a basic, no frills remote and an HDMI ARC connection to plug into a modern TV. You choose between cinema, night, and music modes, which serve their intended purpose as well. Cinema mode works in a simulated 3.1.2 Atmos surround, it's pretty room-filling. Music mode gives you a more normal stereo image. Night mode limits the subwoofer action so you don't wake the neighbors. I've been spending time with this bar in preparation for a full review, so look for that in the next update, along with more personal insights. The Senior S4 with an upgraded 7-driver array and a dedicated full-range center channel delivers true 3D surround sound. Our recommendation number 5. Sony HTX8500. Many dream of immersive audio but don't quite have the space to place dedicated surround speakers and a subwoofer. That's where this tiny bar from Sony shines. The HTX8500 is a single unit with a built-in subwoofer and the ability to bounce the side and height channels of a Dolby Atmos signal around your room. 
It's not as good as having speakers actually behind or above you, but for $300 and a single bar, Sony's audio processing delivers some pretty great sound. 7.1.2 CH Dolby Atmos DTS-X with vertical sound engine. Dual built-in subwoofers for deep bass. All sound upscaled close to 7.1.2 CH audio. 7 different sound modes to enhance your entertainment experience. Voice enhancement for greater clarity. Slim, low-profile design complements your TV. For KHDR pass-through enabled to ensure a high-quality entertainment experience. Cinematic audio with built-in subwoofers, in a compact package. The all-in-one X8500 soundbar features 7.1.2 channel sound, vertical sound engine technology, and Dolby Atmos DTS X compatibility for a cinematic, three-dimensional surround sound experience. The elegant, compact design fits perfectly in front of your TV, especially in places where space is at a premium.